Yeah, good morning. Um, I'm here to provide information <coughs> in relation to an incident where sadly a 41-year-old male um, has died last night. At about 9.27pm on Friday the 27th of May last evening, police received numerous phone calls uh, to attend a disturbance or a fight that was occurring on uh, King William Road at Adelaide. <coughs> um, police provided an immediate response uh, to those calls and arrived at that location within about one minute. On arrival of police, they found two men fighting on the roadway of King William Street. They immediately separated those males and both men were arrested for fighting in a public place. During the arrest, um, sadly, one of the men has become unresponsive. Police and ambulance have um, <coughs> immediately uh, rendered assistance to that, that man and unfortunately and sadly he's passed away at the scene. He was in, uh, involved in a fight with a 17 year old man at that location. Um, he was conveyed to the Royal Adelaide Hospital and treated for injuries um, as a result of the fight. He was unarrested at that location and left in the care and custody of Royal Adelaide Hospital staff. The matter has been determined a police death in custody and Major Crime and Ethical Professional Standards Branch uh, will be conducting a full, independent and thorough investigation into the incident and the cause and circumstances of the 41-year-old man's death. Um, the, nature of the, the, sorry, the nature of the investigation that is occurring is uh, normal in the circumstances and we'll be investigating both the criminal and the coronial aspects of the incident that occurred last night. As part of that review and as part of that investigation, all SAPOL processes will be examined um, to ensure that all members of the South Australian Police uh, acted in accordance with both policy, process and legislation. <coughs> Following the investigation, a thorough report will be provided to the State Coroner, um, at which time that matter will be inquested at an appropriate time. What I do want to reinforce is that last night's incident is not related to recent gang activity in the city and the fight between the parties uh, will be thoroughly investigated. Currently the investigation is in its infancy. Um, we're in the process of identifying exactly who was involved, why they were involved, their roles, and that will all go to the cause and circumstances of both, um, sadly, the man's death and also both the criminal and coronal investigations. We're aware that the fight occurred over about five minutes at that location. It occurred between uh, King William, on King William Street between North Terrace and the um, Festival Theatre and it occurred on the western side of that roadway. It's evident that the fight has spilled onto the roadway and as a result traffic was stopped at that location and um, the, it was the traffic that was travelling north on King William Road that was stopped. Police are seeking assistance from any witnesses that were at that location last night that may have knowledge uh, regarding uh, the background uh, of the fight or have any information that leads to the cause and circumstances that can assist us in investigating the death of uh, the 41 year old man. We're seeking anyone there um, last night to contact the police and in particular anyone that may have mobile phone footage or because of the amount of traffic that was in the vicinity at the time, we're seeking dash cam footage from any persons that were driving either north or south on King William Road at that time. I encourage anyone with information um, in relation to last night's events to contact Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000 uh, to support the police investigation. I'll now take any questions. Do you know if the pair were known to each other? Um, as I stated, the investigation is in its infancy and that will be one of, the, um, <coughs> one of the components that we need to identify as to whether they were known. Were there any weapons used in the fight that you're aware of? No, there were no weapons used in the fight. Okay, the police release says the men were restrained. Can you t uh, tell us how they were restrained by police? Yeah, um, what I will say is on arrival of police at that location, the two men were actively fighting um, on King William Road with the traffic stopped. They were both arrested for fighting a public place. I won't go any further into how that arrest has occurred at this stage because that will form part of both the criminal and the criminal investigation. 
was pepper spray used? As said, at this stage, I won't go into the cause and circumstances or the background as to how those arrests have been affected. Can you tell if he was in handcuffs or were they on yet or they didn't quite get to that stage? Yeah, um, unfortunately due to the infancy of the investigation, I won't comment in relation to how those arrests were affected at that location. Obviously the investigation will look at the SAPO processes. Is there anything to suggest that excessive force may have been used? Um, with all these investigations, that is one component that will be uh, thoroughly um, investigated. What I will say though is um, on arrival, police have immediately broken up this fight and as soon as they become aware um, that there was difficulty, both them and South Australian Ambulance have rendered assistance uh, to the man at that location. Do you have reason to believe that this 42-year-old had been hit in the head a couple of times or was there any evidence of his injuries um, when you got there? Um, as I stated, <coughs> due to the infancy of the investigation, the fact that there's both a criminal and a criminal investigation, I won't comment on that at this time. Were the arresting officers wearing body cam cameras? Um, do you have footage of the, the actual arrest taking place? Yes, we do have footage of the arrest that occurred last night. Can you provide a physical description of the males involved? Uh, not at this time, I won't be. Um, but it will be clearly evident to any witnesses that were present in that location um, as to what's occurred and I have no doubt that they will be fully aware that police have attended there and the arrests have been um, made and um, I don't think at this stage there's any need to provide details in relation to the descriptions of the males involved. You won't provide a description of their ethnicity at all? Beg your pardon? You won't provide a description of their ethnicity at all? Um, at this stage I won't be coming on it, commenting on their ethnicity, no. The 17 year old that was taken to hospital, is he facing charges and why was he unarrested? So, um, as I stated earlier, um, due to the nature of his injuries, he was unarrested at that location so he could receive appropriate medical attention uh, to ensure his welfare. Um, his role will be part of the full circumstance in both the criminal and the criminal investigation, which will obviously um, occur over coming days. And obviously, at this stage, all police processes will be investigated and there will be an inquiry as to how SAPO have conducted themselves and other persons at the scene have conducted themselves. So he, hasn't, so he hasn't been charged at this stage? No, at this stage, no. Is he still in hospital? At this stage, he uh, was still in hospital, yes. Is there a chance he could be re-arrested then? Beg your pardon? Could he be re-arrested? Uh, at this time, as I said, his role in this incident will be thoroughly investigated and then we'll make a decision in due course as to um, how he, he, he is, if, if at all dealt with. And where are, they, where are the two guys from? Are they from Adelaide or in his state? At this stage, I'm not willing to comment as to uh, where they reside. Thank you. And obviously, this, would be, this is very traumatic for the one-year-old family. Can you comment? Um, in all these circumstances, I can't put myself in their place. It would be uh, horrible for what's occurred to them last night. What I can say though is that uh, major crime, uh, we have lead in the investigation with ethical and professional standards branch and we have provided support through our victim contact officers um, to provide appropriate support and assistance to the family of the deceased. Thank you. Thank you.